Welcome back to Uncork with Shannon and Tara. Today's episode is a Halloween edition. Yay! Um, so, if you're looking for wines to drink on Halloween, we bring you Witching Hour Sweet Red Blend and the Seven Deadly Zins. Um, so we're going to try them, we'll tell you what we think, and if you want to get in the Halloween spirit, you can pick them up. They're actually pretty affordable, so. Yeah, and we got ours at Total Wine. It's the first wine when you enter. Well, that was like, we went in late September, yeah. so it could change, but I'm pretty sure it'll probably be on display this whole month. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go with the Seven Deadly Zins first, and you got to appreciate like the nice little play <laughs> on words. Um, very cool. All right. Yeah, we thought this would be like such a cool idea to do like a Halloween wine because Halloween is on a Saturday this year. So that means you can get turnt. Yes, because there's nothing else to do <laughs> during Halloween this year. Yeah, and you can get in the little spooky spirit and it'll be super great. Um, so this is made by Michael David Winery. Um, they have a whole line called Seven Deadly Wines. Um, this is their Zinfidel, and they actually have seven specific vineyards chosen in the Lodi, California region that's known for Zinfidel, um, so they went with seven deadly Zins for their Zinfidel. Um, they also use sustainable wine growing practices, which is lovely. Um, so this is 2017 Lodi grape. It's an old vine Zinfidel, so all Ooh. right. Um, it's full-bodied and seductive. Because it's a, a sin, a zin. I think that's perfect. Um, it's hot. 15% alcohol. Yes. Yeah, so that's high. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to feel this. Happy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> um, perfect way to start off Halloween. Yeah. Um, this says it's jammy berry fruit, aromas of leather, oak, and spice. I smell the spice. I don't smell leather. No, but when you said jammy, it like, I thought of like, wow, that is spot on. Yeah, it's very, very berry. Um, layered taste of dark fruits, currants, and toffee with spices. So that's a lot going on. Um, it's Ooh. vegan and gluten-free. I do smell like the coffee. Ooh. Yeah, you do mm -hmm. get a little hint of that. Um, we got a couple of reviews. It's gotten between like a 4.2 and a 4.6 on some sites. Um, they said it's okay. Some say it's the best Zinfidel since the 70s. That is a bold statement. That's a bold statement. <laughs> um, and then 3.8, it packs a lot of punch. I, I definitely feel like smelling it's it, gonna, it's going to. It's going to pack a punch, so all right. And I did think the color... Like, looking down on it, it kind of looks like a ruby, but then yeah. from the side, I don't know if it looks like a ruby. Yeah. It looks a little bit more violent. Vi violently. <laughs> um, violet. Looking. Yeah. It's violent. Yes. Um, I mean, it could yeah. be violent. It's Halloween. And it's, it's deadly sin. Yeah. It is. It's really dark. It's definitely dark, but it's, like, light around the edges, so. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well, cheers. Cheers. Hmm, I don't. Uh, it's not my. F this, a couple, somewhere it said America's favorite Zinfidel. But it's not my favorite Zinfidel that I've ever had. No, and I hope. I've had better Zins. And I wasn't raised in the 70s. I'm just saying, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's my favorite. No, I don't. It definitely packs a punch. At the end. I felt like it was watered down at first. Yeah. Is that just me or did you feel like it was watered down and then a punch? I think it was watered down and okay. then a punch. It's It's not like tart. It's, uh, I don't know the word for it. Um, spicy. <laughs> it is kind of spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely spicy. Um, really... I'm kind of bummed because I really wanted to like this. Mm -hmm. I like the play on words. I like the whole <laughs> deadly sin vibe. Um, I like the bottle. <coughs> Don't. Went oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to like 
taste all the flavors. It is violent. Yeah. <laughs> Spot on. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about this. Um, I don't think I would personally recommend it. No, I definitely don't think so. No, it's it's a bold red, but it's not smooth. So no, it's not smooth at all. You kind of choke it down a yeah. little. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Did it say that it had like an orange peel in it? Um, current. Hmm. No. Hmm. I'm trying to be like a little small yeah, and be I mean, like, I know what's in here. You know what? I know it says aromas of leather, but I am getting like a little like aftertaste. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what that aftertaste <laughs> was. It's dry. It's dry. And yeah. I can imagine that if I took like a bite of leather, <laughs> that maybe it might kind of taste like that. <laughs> Yeah, mm. the aftertaste, yeah. Just sitting, if, yeah, I feel like sitting on your tongue, it doesn't feel right or it's, taste right. Maybe mm -hmm. if you like really, it's very dry, and I feel like that's very weird for a Zinfandel, I feel, and especially a berry forward one, but yeah. maybe if you like drier, <laughs> bold, spicy reds, maybe it's up your alley. It's just, it's not... It's not up mine. No. I do like the label. I think it's really yeah. cool how it's like cut down here. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, like it's burned. Yeah. That looks so cool. I want to like this so bad. I know. Bad. <laughs> it really caught our eye. Well, actually, I feel like we saw this one first. Yes. And then we had to get both of them together. So this one actually caught our eye a little bit more. Yeah, it did. But I just, <laughs> we like the look of the bottle. Well, that's our... We've learned our lesson not to always go by the look of the bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you learn. You yeah. live and you learn. But this is eleven dollars and like fifty cents at Total Wine, so it's a good price. Um, you might like it. It's just not our glass of wine. No. Um, mm. Don't haunt me. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. Oh, wow. It's definitely hard to get down. So you did it. You yeah, I did. It down. So I'm gonna keep track in our little home is where the wine is waiting book. Um, my note is that I did not like. <laughs> You're gonna underline it too. <laughs> did not like. Don't buy again. Um, it's. Um, I don't even. Would you say it's smoky? Yeah. Okay, smoky. It's a little bitter, spicy, heavy, dry. Yeah. Mm hmm Honestly, we tried Snoop a couple weeks ago, and I feel like you should just go with Snoop instead of this. Yes. I don't think it was a... I think that might have been a cab. Yeah. But that was just, like, so good. And then this, like, you're so excited about it, and it's kind of a little bit of letdown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, Snoop is, like set the standard oh my god for us for real <laughs> snoop and um caitlin Bristow's spade and sparrow mm -hmm. those reds have really set the bar high That's in terms true. of reds for us so maybe it's just it hasn't lived up to it no so we're definitely gonna have to drink more of uh caitlin Bristow's wine especially yeah. bachelor season oh yeah you guys gotta stay tuned for those videos yes so i'm gonna put this one back here <laughs> Uh, let our husbands try it. Yeah. They taste different. And we'll move on to witching hour. Yes. So this was actually recommended to us at Total Wine. We were kind of looking at mm -hmm. it and Total Wine's uh, employees are very attentive to you and they'll recommend stuff. They'll look in your cart and be like, oh, you'll like this one. So witching hour, the bottle is really pretty. Um, definitely a witchy kind of Halloween uh, label. Mm -hmm. um, this is a sweet red blend. Uh, it was $9, which you can't beat. No. <laughs> uh, California, 13.5% alcohol, uh, light bodied, ripe berries, cherry and strawberry, paired with barbecue. Ooh, I like that it's kind of paired with barbecue. I feel like on a cold night like tonight, 
taking this bottle of wine out near like a smoky fire and eating mm -hmm. barbecue. Yeah. Oh my god, it sounds like heaven. Yes. So I was also so excited that I almost just went like that. <laughs> but take the whole bottle. My glass is right here. <laughs> Not Tara's glass. Or we can I change mean, it. This could be your glass. That could be the guys. <laughs> I really need. Have you seen that attachment where there's like a yes. wine glass? I need that. Oh my god. <laughs> the amount of times I go through a bottle of wine, just take away the middleman. For real. <laughs> Especially during bachelor season, just do that. Just do it. Okay. All the drinking games. Yes. Whoa. I'm a. I kind of. Does it smell smoky? Yeah. No. No. Well, yes. Yeah. This is a really interesting smell. Because we were trying to think like, um, Tara does the traveling vineyards and we we're trying to maybe compare it to Fizzata before we tried it. So yeah. we, that one has like a sweet smell. So yeah. I wasn't expecting this. No, because whenever I see sweet, I think of that. Mm -hmm. Or like Cooper's Hawk. Sweet uh, red. Yeah. I think of those. That one's really good. I'm trying yeah. to remember the name of it. Romance red? Yeah, they do have romance red, okay. but we get Scarletto. Yeah, that's Scarletto. Yeah, that, that one's that's really good. Super good. So whenever I see sweet wet red, I expect those, but this is a really interesting smell. Yeah, I don't know. Like I'm just smelling smoky. I'm trying but to it, figure out. And it's not supposed to mm -mm. be smoky. It tastes Maybe. like barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> or it smells like barbecue. Yeah. Cherry and strawberry? I guess cherry. See, I was about to say the strawberry. Maybe. I smell chocolate. Yeah. See, I do too. That's really weird. I oh. know. It's so funny that you think like you'll smell one thing and you smell several things and your brain is just like, which which one is it? What is it? <laughs> okay. It got a 4.5 on Total Wines website. Somebody said it's perfect for a sweet lover who wants to expand the horizons. Lover, he wants to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Nicely balanced. Cheers. Thanks. Oh, that doesn't taste anything like I thought it would based on the smell. No, I, I like the taste. Mm -hmm. The smell is iffy, but the taste is pretty good. The taste is more of what I was expecting. Mm hmm. Because it's sweet. I would agree. It is sweet. And it's good. It's really good. It's not my favorite. I definitely think I'd want um, Scarletto mm -hmm. or Fasada over this. Yeah. But also, those two are bubbly. This one's not bubbly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think you're right when you said Cooper's Hawk um, Red Romance because that's very similar to this. Yeah. But it's... I like the smell of that one better. This smell <laughs> was a little... A little like, scary. Yeah. You smelt it and then you're like, what is this going to taste like? But it, it tastes great. Yeah. This is a really good, um, less than $10 bottle of wine. Oh my gosh, yeah. So, um, it's pretty good. Halloween spirit. Yeah. I'd, I'd drink it. I'm going to. Yeah. I would <laughs> put on a Halloween movie and drink this. Hocus Pocus. Oh my god. <laughs> that one's such a good movie. It is. It doesn't think get old. I mean, Halloween Town. I've, I'm thinking all the Disney <gasps> Channel original movies. Yes, I love Halloween <laughs> Town. I think that was my go-to. Yeah. But I also like Casper. I don't know if that's like considered Halloween. I love Casper. Yeah. It's so good. Mm -hmm. it's Casper and Wendy. Sad. Just I feel like Casper ghost. and Wendy. <laughs> oh yeah, no, the first one. Where you, oh, that one was really sad. Yeah. But. The one with Hillary Duff. Oh my god, that's oh one of my, my favorites. <laughs> I also love that one. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite like Halloween outfit you ever dressed in? So I'm we're so gonna try to this. put in photos of these, but so I have two. One, I was a sheepdog on Halloween. <laughs> you did tell me that, and it was like a full-bodied Halloween suit, and it was hot. And by the end of the night, I just had to walk around with the like the head part off because I was sweating. And my mom was like, "Oh my gosh, she's gonna die of heat stroke." Oh my god! But I loved that one. And then I had a very um, inventive Halloween costume. I was a cross dressing cross dressing Jason Voorhees with an afro. Oh. Came up with that. <laughs> Get up on myself. Did no one. Look good? 
No. no. <laughs> I wore an afro. I had a Jason Voorhees mask. I carried a fake machete. And then I was in like this outfit from Hot Topic that I bought. And it was this, the most ridiculous oh costume. I don't know what I was thinking, but... There's pictures. And you know what my friend was? A cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Teenagers are weird. <laughs> what was yours? <laughs> I kind of like imagine Mean Girls where the girl shows up and is super scary and everyone yeah. else is in sexy outfits. Yeah, that's how it felt. <laughs> I don't know what my brain was going through, but it was a head moment. Haven't worn something like that since. <laughs> oh my god. I think the next year I was probably like a hula girl because I was like, no, I need a girly costume <laughs> after that year. What's wrong with me? <laughs> That's so funny. What was, your, what was your favorite? Um, I was a 50s girl. I loved it. I had the shoes, the 50 shoes. I think they're like saddle shoes. And then um, my grandmother and my mom sewed my skirt. And I had... Um, the poodle dog on it. Oh my god, it was so cool. Ugh. And I think it was so cool because like my grandmother and my mom helped make it. So I just love that even Do more. Do you still have it? No. Oh. I know that would have been really cool. Mm -hmm. I feel like I appreciate it at the time, but I didn't appreciate it where I'm like, oh I should have kept it. Oh. It was really cool. That's I think awesome. that was the best one. I love that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I never got into the scary thing and now I kinda wish I did. I was always the girly girl. Hmm. You don't want a scary costume. <laughs> <laughs> I just, my, I've always liked Halloween and like scary movies and spooky stuff. And maybe that was the year I went through a really like Halloween, like scare. I want to watch all the scary movies year. So I think that's probably where that Jason Voorhees costume came from. Um, I got to credit my uncle for fostering okay. my love of uh, spooky movies and stuff because he would uh, dress up as Michael Myers and chase us around in the basement. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. Nope. <laughs> no. So great. <laughs> Childhood. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, yeah, so tell us what your favorite Halloween costume was, what you'll be drinking on Halloween, and any scary movie recommendations yes. because. I'm not a scary movie person, but I think I'm going to give it a go. What? Well, Kramp I was going to say Krampus, but that's more of a Christmas movie. <laughs> but don't you watch it every Halloween, you told me? Yes. I have a bad habit of watching Christmas <laughs> movies on Halloween lately. <laughs> Krampus counts as both. <laughs> yeah, let us know if you think Krampus counts as both. <laughs> well, try the wines. Let us know what you think, and happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Cheers. Cheers.